This is AP News Minute. Authorities in Uvalde, Texas say at least 19 children and two adults are dead after a shooting at an elementary school. Law enforcement killed the gunman. A state senator says the shooter bought two assault weapons just after he turned 18. President Biden spoke from the White House asking Congress members when they're going to stand up to the gun lobby. Democrat Chris Murphy on the Senate floor begged Republicans to work with him on gun legislation. South Korea says North Korea test launched a suspected intercontinental ballistic missile and two shorter range weapons. It says they were fired into the sea. Georgia Republicans nominated Governor Brian Kemp for a second term and picked former football star Herschel Walker to take on Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. Rita Foley, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Authorities in Uvalde, Texas, say at least 19 children and two adults are dead after a shooting at an elementary school. Law enforcement killed the gunman. A state senator says the shooter bought two assault weapons just after he turned 18. President Biden spoke from the White House asking Congress members when they're going to stand up to the gun lobby. Democrat Chris Murphy on the Senate floor begged Republicans to work with him on gun legislation. South Korea says North Korea test launched a suspected intercontinental ballistic missile and two shorter range weapons. It says they were fired into the sea. Georgia Republicans nominated Governor Brian Kemp for a second term and picked former football star Herschel Walker to take on Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. Rita Foley, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers at an elementary school had warned on social media minutes before the attack that he was going to shoot up a school. Abbott says 18-year-old Salvador Ramos posted that he was going to shoot his grandmother, then that he had shot the woman, and finally that he was going to shoot an elementary school. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has quickly set in motion a pair of firearms background check bills in response to the school massacre in Texas. But the Democrat acknowledged Wednesday the refusal for years of Congress to pass any legislation aiming to curb a national epidemic of gun violence. First Lady Jill Biden and Surgeon General Vivek Murthy welcomed the delivery of a second shipment of infant formula Wednesday, tens of thousands of pounds of formula that the Biden administration is importing from Europe to ease critical supply shortages in the United States. Greeting a FedEx plane at Dulles Thank International you, Airport in Virginia, the First Lady said she's been heartbroken over the formula supply crisis. Worth more than their weight in gold, 50 historic manuscripts from around the world are going on display in London, all featuring either gold paint, gold writing, gold leaf, or writing in pure gold. Gold, 50 spectacular manuscripts from around the world, opens at the British Library on Friday. Julian Stiles, the Associated Press with AP Newsman. This is AP News Minute. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers at an elementary school had warned on social media minutes before the attack that he was going to shoot up a school. Abbott says 18-year-old Salvador Ramos posted that he was going to shoot his grandmother, then that he had shot the woman, and finally that he was going to shoot an elementary school. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has quickly set in motion a pair of firearms background check bills in response to the school massacre in Texas. But the Democrat acknowledged Wednesday the refusal for years of Congress to pass any legislation aiming to curb a national epidemic of gun violence. First Lady Jill Biden and Surgeon General Vivek Murthy welcomed the delivery of a second shipment of infant formula Wednesday, tens of thousands of pounds of formula that the Biden administration is importing from Europe to ease critical supply shortages in the United States. Greeting a FedEx plane at Dulles Thank International you. Airport in Virginia, the First Lady said she's been heartbroken over the formula supply crisis. Worth more than their weight in gold, 50 historic manuscripts from around the world are going on display in London, 
all featuring either gold paint, gold writing, gold leaf, or writing in pure gold. Gold, 50 spectacular manuscripts from around the world, opens at the British Library on Friday. Julian Stiles, the Associated Press with AP News Minute.